Alright, welcome back to the Bard's Tale. If you'd like to continue our tale, where were we? Uh, uh, uh quick announcement. Uh, uh Rural Legend got copyright claimed for all the music in it, as I expected. But whatever record company uh works with Ozzy, I guess, decided to block the video instead of monetizing it, like all the other ones. So Legend will be Twitch exclusive if I choose to continue it. And I'll definitely play it on my own time at least, but maybe I just some multiplayer on Twitch or something. <clears throat> Anyways, that. Really wasn't expecting it to get blocked. Like, take your money, man. You're just throwing it away, you're setting it on fire. And there were too many claims on the video for anyone to get any money out of it. But still, they have to try. It's the principle. It kind of copyright deadlock itself. I think I'll probably keep playing on my own dime. Just cause it's nice to not have to be streaming and talking to myself and stuff sometimes. <clears throat> That's why I mostly play games that I've already played and feel like replaying. But... No, it's nice to have something to play for myself. Like, what am I actually doing that's not on Twitch right now? Crash insane on my Switch. And, uh... Kingdom Come Deliverance, just a million hours long. Working my way through it, it's a good game. Just has a slow start, I guess. Not that it's not a compelling start. It just takes a while before you're good enough to make progress on a regular basis. Both. What the hell happened here? Some idiot spilled the blood of an animal in the ring of the Nuklave. With the ring <laughs> desecrated, the Nuklave has risen to spread death and destruction. Idiot might be a bit strong. Not strong enough, if you ask me. We'll agree to disagree on that one. I don't think you understand. The Nuklave is the harbinger of doom. That lack wit has doomed us all. We must leave town immediately if we hope to survive. Exactly what I was thinking. Calais said something about a mountain pass leading to the tower. Oh, the pass. We'll never make it through this time of year. Too cold. We might try going through the old Viking tombs under the mountains. We'll need something from the tombs in any case. Viking tombs? <laughs> I don't mean to sound negative, but that does sound rather unpleasant. No, trust me. What could go wrong? Da -na -na. He got bowed. Both. 
don't die. Until you can tell me the location of the tomb. Uh, I mean, until I can get you help. <laughs> the mountain pass I'm is... Is... Feeling asthma attack uh, coming on. I knew it. Perfect. The little twerp goes and dies on me. Not a nice thing to say to someone on their deathbed. Sorry. Now be respectful. I'm trying to help you. I only have so much life left in me to get out so many words. So I don't think I'm asking too much. Ah, don't you agree? Better. I'm sure most people would. Glad you understand. Now, the mountain pass is... Oh, okay. That was a little dramatic. Wait! I'm not done yet. Come closer. Got it. Said Ligma. What had passed between poor deceased Bove and the Bard was anyone's guess. He asked me to get my knee off his chest. Ah. Then he told me the location of the mountain pass. I'm on my way. So, are you dead? Almost. Okay, good luck with that. The Bard headed to the mountain pass, leaving Bove to die a slow, painful death. Who's gonna notice one less Bove? Level up. The stronger the Bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. I always thought that, uh... Like, inhalers were exaggerated in their effectiveness on the uh, televisions and stuff but uh, you know now that I actually have it have asthma I mean uh, I can confirm that it is in fact instant relief I just really wasn't expecting it I thought it would take you a few minutes to come down nah it's just pretty much instant amazing stuff only had it for about three four years now Behind. just came out of nowhere ruined my whole life because I went for like half a year with it undiagnosed I wasn't dying necessarily but it made my life really shitty. I pretty much just struggle to breathe until I pass out at night. At least your body has more energy to focus on what it needs to do while you're sleeping. Otherwise, I would have stroked at some point. So, I think once we head for the Viking Tombs, we're kind of landlocked until we have the airship. So, i going to head over to Finstown. Let's see if I can handle it.
So when we went to Kirkwall, there were some guys who said we were the hero of Finstown. They've been looking for us forever, so they can thank us. Where a modest reception and gentle folk awaited. There he is! The bard is coming! Hooray! Hooray for the bard! Yes, it's me. Your hero has arrived. Oh, looks like my reputation has preceded me. Dun, dun, Fire! Dun. It was a trap. Vengeance! Yeah, we aren't heroes at all. We kind of destroyed this place and forgot about it. Oh, we didn't destroy it, but we led to their destruction. Kind of like with uh, Kirkwall. And we set the Nickel of Evil on him. And just refuse to acknowledge that's our fault. I didn't save on the way out of Kirkwall, did I? Of course not. Actually, it hasn't been proven yet, has it? Yeah, our experience bar is low, which means we did our level up. That's a short walk then. Finstown. The bard entered Finstown. One modest X as a nine. That should be some kind of indication of where you should be in the game. For Finstown! Take that! I just don't remember what the tower was numbered, so. Could be that we're still a bit too early for this. <clears throat> Jeez. For Finstown. For Finstown. I'm here to serve. Vengeance. Hurt. <clears throat> I think we're shooting him. Ow! That kinda hurt. Close enough oh. for the auto lock to work. Ryan. Vengeance! Okay, get closer if I wasn't afraid of the fire damage. How do you like that, Bard? Ow! That kinda hurt. Oh, 
Somebody in need of healing. Please heal me. Please Pain! heal me. Eh, it's, it's too hard to kill him. But I won't. How do you like that, Bard? I tried because I wanted the experience, but I don't think they intended for you to be able to kill him. For Finstown. Or who knows? Maybe there's a, a ridge there. Ow! That kind of hurt. Doubt it. I save? I should save. I did not. Don't thank me later. Sure. Don't count on it though. <clears throat> oh, ow, that kind of hurt. If I'm not mistaken, I might get a two handed sword here. For Finn's town. Should be just lovely. I'm here to serve. For Finn's town. How 
like that, Spark. Kill that bastard. Ow! That kind of hurt. It's not a whole lot to explore here, it's still a ton of dudes to kill. Before we get the actual Finstown anyways. They can handle this many people on a map. You have to wonder why Kirkwall wasn't bigger. And I guess it would feel like a big empty town if it was. They've got their buildings. You got some houses that you can't enter. You got the bar and you got the store. What more could you need? Even have a little, little dark room for us. Hey, you! Why don't you try hitting me? But just imagine if they split the shop into separate things. So there was an armor and a weapon shop or something. Maybe a street vendor that sells a trinket. Would have been nice. <laughs> I did mention this game had a small budget though. It's way better than it deserves to be. So don't take it as criticism when I say they missed opportunities. I'm sure they are well aware of it. Oh, ow! That kind of hurt. How do you like that, Bard? For Finstown! Ow. How do you like that, Spark? If it isn't the Bard, I'm sure our leader Silkbeard will want to talk to you. He's in that large building across town, the one with most of its windows still intact. Now you see why they're mad. And sound's been taken over by giant Vikings. Ah, another victory for me. Haha. <laughs>
Pac-Man Mun. You really don't get paid much per barrel, but we're not going to see this guy until we get to Dunby, was it called? The big city. It's going to be a long time in the future. So it's just going to be a big payout when we finally see the guy again. Good boy. I'll go. This is the good life. Mmm, nish. Herk a dirk. It's not racist, I'm Swedish. Bart, anyways. Love in America, of course. Surprisingly, the bard found himself in the local tavern. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. Trowie's pub was once a quaint local hangout, but it, much like the rest of the town, had been overrun by Vikings. Ah, it's the bard. A drink to your health, bard. Rip. I don't know what... I don't know what you've done, but the villagers don't seem to like you much. Uh, come to think of it, neither do I. It's not nice. I'll steal you then. It's a right pair of brass bollocks you've got, showing your face around here. Hold on, hold on. Why the hostility? I've never even been to this town before. At least, not that I can remember. In any case, I've certainly done nothing to harm you. As if you didn't know. I don't. Right. And next you'll be telling me it wasn't you that set the Orkney dragon free. Dragon? What dragon? Do you take me for a fool? You think we didn't know that you set the beast free to raise our city and let the Vikings come storming in afterwards? Oh, is this that town? I do remember cracking open a big lock gate. But no one mentioned anything about a dragon. That's right. Play dumb. You'll get what's coming to you. Well, if that means riches and women, I'm all for it. But, uh, doesn't look like this town has either to offer now. Nobody to blame but yourself for that one. At least many of the villagers escaped and have been laying siege to the town. Perhaps they'll make it in and rescue us eventually. I'm sure they will. I think I better be going now. Yeah, go. And then I come back. Uh, so we're in a bar, which means I want to try and summon the rat. I think it works in pretty much every tavern. I missed the one, Kirkwall. Something should happen. They kind of hinted at it in the beginning of the game. It's a rat! Oh, somebody kill it! Kill it! All right, all right. Steady on. The big scary rat is gone now. Er, uh, uh, thanks, Bard. I, um, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I, uh... Hey, uh, take this and, and don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Big money. Not bad. My lips are sealed. That was really worth. Hmm. 
What's it do? Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted Ooh. some of the animal's strength and ferocity. Plus three charisma. It's a pretty heavy boost. Dull silk beard. I have to wonder how we got through this door. The bard arrived at the headquarters <clears throat> of the Viking leader Silkbeard. Being unsure of what type of reception awaited him within, our hero steeled himself for a confrontation. Weapon shop. Welcome, my friend. Take a look at my wares, and I'm sure you'll find they're the finest materials from every corner of the globe. Only the best of the best is sold here. I'd like to see your bows. Bows? Not the most honorable of weapons, but a great way to catch the attention of a spineless villain making a hasty retreat. What was that? Bows. Nah, not worth my time. What have you got to stab and bash with? When it comes to the true warrior, it's hand-to-hand -hand weaponry that wins the day. All of these weapons would make even the most bloodthirsty Viking proud. Magic aura? That just bonus damage for what? And I remember the swords all get a glowy later. Stun chance. Electric. Let me see something else. Let's have a look. I don't think I'm gonna buy any of these. Carry a fine collection of armor. Even the cowardly will stand firm in any of these well-crafted suits. You'll see that. This changes more than just her body. You get some sick ass knee pads and a vambrous too. Let me see something else. See you, old man. I think there's a storehouse somewhere here with a ton of free weapons in it. Here now, Bard. I owe you a lot. But messing with a man's treasure, that's not proper. Oh, just admiring your property. I've no mind to be making off with any of it. Well, not for right now. <laughs> it's probably a reward. <clears throat> this is all optional, but I think we can take the town back, kind of. Maybe even get cheaper wares here. It's also possible they uh, hike up the prices because they resent me for causing this in the first place. Look who it is! Oh hell! Time to start killing. Get around, you drunken sots! The bards come at last. A flagon of ale and a haunch of meat. Hell, <laughs> give him anything he wants. It's the least we can do after what you've done for us. And uh, just what was that? What was that, he says? That was the Orkney dragon you loosed on this damn town. 
Months we'd been at it, hammering at the gates and slaughtering the town folks when we could get at them. Then along comes your dragon, smashes the gate in one pass, and puts half the city to the torch. It... it was beautiful. Ta-da! Three cheers for the board! No wonder the locals hate me. Hate you? Hate you? They don't hate you, man. They love you. Love me? What you want about? Wait, no, no, not love. Loathe. They loathe you, despise you. They'll curse your name with every breath for a thousand years. Oh, what I wouldn't give for fame like that. You can have it. Oh, that's no way for a death-dealing devil like you to talk. And as long as you're here, go where you will, slaughter the local folk, and take what you want. It's the least we can do for such a horrible, murdering bastard as yourself. They rhymed bastard with arse turd. We're, uh. Okay, I thought we were stuck. Oh, the Orkney dragon. I have no idea what Orkney means, but I do know that there's a set of islands just off the coast of Scotland. All the Orkneys. So I guess that would kind of solidify this is Scotland. Not just some random place in the British Isles. Or Albion, as they would call it. It pretty much means British Isles, but they use it for, like, fantasy worlds. It's Britain plus magical stuff, pretty much. Everywhere. It's called Cell. A storehouse here, I think. Our hero came across a building guarded by two burly Vikings. Even the bard concluded that there must be something of value in the building. Especially now that I've just said it out loud. Look, Carl! It's the bard! Ha <laughs> I thought he'd be taller! Best be on your way, bard! You're not allowed in here! Don't make us hurt you! Stay back! Don't make us kill you! <laughs> Upon the edge of town was a makeshift prison camp. 
with crude ramshackle walls that held captive the once proud people of Finstown. These prisoners had little chance against the well-armed Vikings, but the Bard could pick up a bit of goodwill if he helped them with their dilemma. At this point, the Bard needed as much goodwill as he could muster. Oh, we're getting there. Over here, men! We have a challenge! Oh, boy. <laughs> Try the mercenary. You will all fall! Sweet Jesus. I'll send you to the next world! Fairy would probably do us good. <laughs> Let there be light! Does he only takes damage from projectiles. I'll send you to the next world! Praise Walden! It's probably an oversight on their part, because he's not meant to be a tank. He just is. They can't talk right now. They're busy bleeding to death. Come on in, Bard. We've got more for you. I'll send you to the next world! The first box has some adder stones and some big money. More adder stones, big money. New armor.
Oh, I was hoping we could get that ass. New weapon. The granite flail. The uh, weapons dude was selling that one. New token. Made a ton of money. We got enough for like two maps. Maybe more with that charisma token. I think that's all the chests. I can't smash anything right. Good. Let's check out our loots. Armor's a lot better than what we had. <clears throat> Allows the heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and for Guys all lined up in one place. Might want to get them all distracted. He's taking some damage too. Maybe he just has really high armor. I think that the health regen rate's dictated by your maximum health, so as our pool grows, that 10% will be a bigger help to us.
I'm just an order some perk. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A damaging spinning attack, used with a two-handed weapon skill. A ranged attack that fires multiple arrows which pass through their targets, used with the ranged skill. Useful. Would have been so much easier for him to just not put a collider on that piece of wood. I guess they decided it's worth it because it makes shooting harder. I'm pretty sure the prisoners help us fight, so probably would have been easier for us to have set them free before I started marching upward. Like it. Oof. Let's go do that now. Do you think it make themselves useful? stand back and hail your new hero you should feel fortunate we don't hail you with stones since it was your actions that put us here nevertheless we need your help reinforcements are on the way in numbers greater than you can handle alone however with your magic and our help they can be defeated okay. I'll open the gates but if one stone hits my head you're going back in. Maybe there's some good in you after all. Free us, and we'll fight at your side. Yeah, they all have bows. That would have been helpful. The Vikings used in for target practice. They left this instrument behind here. I suppose you could use it. Holy shit. We got a third summon. You're him, aren't you? The worthless chiseler my mom told me about. Wait, don't tell me. You must be the plug ugly brat I've heard so much about. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Let's forget about their hearts and minds and mind your gonads. Some folks have the wonderful gift of seeing a man for what he really is. Hope I didn't miss something there. I heard you're You've got a lot of can you
Couldn't have been anything too important, right? What do we want? We already have a tanker. So, Vorpal Rat? See, they're just eating them now. For Finstown. How do you like that, Bard? Vengeance. I forgot you could issue orders. Over here. Stay where you are. Come to me. Back off. Charge! So, I let you roam my city and you repay me by stealing my loot and killing my men. It's my loot, Snotbeard. You and your little girls were just watching it for me. <laughs> this little girl's about to gut you from green to groin. How do you like that, Bark? To the death! I might have screwed up. Finstown. I'll send you to the next world! <laughs> Kinda of hoping I die. Thus ends the bard's tale. The bard arrived at the headquarters. Get to the We'll speed through this. Oh, that had to hurt. Skip it. See, I think they get kicked out of this place once you kill the boss, so I didn't loot any of this. Now, I Skip it. Which might be good stuff. You can also see if the plug literally brat has something to give me. Now we have a second chance. Oh, sorry for the minor spoilers. <clears throat> Assuming that we do get kicked out and can't come back. Hey, uh, what are you? Honestly, it's to be expected. Upon the edge of town was a makeshift prison camp. 
with crude... Skip it. Say it's a free first strike or make it count. Over here, men, we have a challenge. Praise Walden. Be healed. I'll send you to the next world! Put a spell on you. Hello, and um, skip it. No, we're gonna set the for prisoners free first. That should make that whole Viking fight go by a lot faster. really satisfying to watch. Hmm. Beautiful. Hollow. Get to the good part. You're him, aren't you? The worthless chiseler my mom told me about. No one's ever all they're supposed to be. Take my advice. Play it smart. Get to know a man, and then decide for yourself what kind of person he is. Whatever, Chiddler.
I think we got less experience for that. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. I heard that. You've got a lot. Can you? Hmm. Kind of sad about that. You're one of my first instincts. Well, I say, don't second guess yourself. You're always gonna regret it. You will all fall for Finstown. It was just experience, so it's not that big of a deal. Really, it's the loot that I was concerned about. From the, uh, Great Hall or whatever you call it. All the boys died. It's my fault for not protecting him. It did take care of the Vikings a lot quicker though, right? Really served their purpose. I'll send you to the next world. Lost in the dark. Okay, now I'm sorry. With the tragic death of our hero. Heal woman didn't heal us. In fact, she ran the complete wrong way. She got herself murdered. Imagine that. The bard arrived at Nag. I probably could have told her to come to me. 
might have helped. Come to me. In a moment, my pretty. Ooh, that had to hurt. Boring. Move along. <laughs> you probably save post musical just in case I die again. Our hero came across. Look, Carl! It's next. Over here, man! We have a challenge! <laughs> I'll send you to the next world! Lord! I'll send you to the next world! You will all fall! I'll send you to the next world! <laughs> you will all fall! I'll send you to the next world! I'll send you Stand to the next breath. world! Charge!
Hope that didn't kill my money. I'll open the gate. Get to the good part. Did not. Wait, don't tell me. Eh, it's about the same. I heard Level up, vitality, and strength. Let's get the critical hit. Yeah, let's try the bodyguard. It's me to protect these guys. How do you like that part? For Finstown! For Finstown! I'll send you to the next world! Vengeance! How do you like that, Mark? Smash that barrel. No offense. That's a pretty good one. No offense. He works on two levels because he taunts them, but he also doesn't have a fence. Sorry about that. For Finn's town, vengeance.
I'll send you to the next world. I see, that's how he survived. He kept him stunlocked. What champ. Anyways, made it to a save point. So y'all don't have to watch that ever again. Let's go loot that throne room. That'll make us feel better about ourselves. Oh boy. Two new songs. Definitely something we didn't want to miss. The mercenary. Typical of his sort. Crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the Bard. A dangerous temptress and assassin, the rogue would draw her enemies in, then be gone in a flash, leaving only pain and death in her wake. The Bard, of course, left a trail of pain and death in his wake without even trying. Mm hmm. So she's a tanker. She taunts. The bodyguard was sworn to defend his charges from any and all manner of ranged attack. Oh. Perhaps someone should have gotten him a larger shield. That explains so much. He taunts ranged attacks, not normal ones. Never before had there existed a creature like the Gouger, feeding off the very life energy of its foes, healing its allies all the while. Sounds better than, uh, what's its face? Brown, because this thing actually fights. So the rogues is kind of a tank by the sounds of it. He taunts, but then she dodges and counters to do big damage, but it's completely luck based whether or not she can do that. to the next world.
Would you blame? I didn't think that all of them would respawn. She's doing pretty decent. Might they get a heal first, of course. I'll put a spell on you. Time to play. All right, fight time. I think. Avern exists. Locked. Locked. <clears throat> so, I let you roam my city, and you repay me by stealing my loot and killing my men. It's my loot, not beard. You and your little girls were just watching it for me. <laughs> this little girl's about to gut you from green to groin. Over here. I'll send you to the next world! Praise Walden!
Don't suppose I'm surviving it has something to do with them updating at two frames a second when they're off screen. Did you miss me? Praise Walden! You will all fall! Did you blink? On your knees. This guy's got fire resistance. <laughs> Too easy. On your knees. Lighten up! <laughs> Too easy. On your knees. Ah, it looks like the militia respawned. That's what that green arrow is on my map. It went back for him. Fine, we've got this guy's stomach with the mace and the spider. His Viking pantalons. Does it hurt? Too slow. This rogue has more than her under her keep. She's great. Too easy. Does it hurt? Did you blink? The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Can you? So, do I just leave? I killed Snotbeard. Or just leave.
and bravely did our bard return to familiar Finstown. Oi, you, open the gates. Haven't you done enough damage already? I saved you from the Vikings, old fool. Saved us? You loosed the dragon on us. For the last time. All right, look, maybe once, a long time ago, I might have broken a seal on this gate and this hellish dragon got loose. But I swear, I didn't know there was a dragon inside. <laughs> and even if I did, I never saw him. Aha! You admit it! It was you! Maybe. Now, are you gonna let me in or not? Not! <laughs> and bravely did our bard retreat from familiar Finstown, never to return. Thankfully. I was right about getting kicked out. Ooh, that had to hurt. Oh, that was an adventure. I'm pretty sure we were under leveled for that, so I apologize for wasting time, I guess. We got through it. So it could have been worse. Where's our map sales boy? On your knees. Not fast enough. <laughs> Too easy. Does it Why do you owe me a fortune for this?
I'm sure we're fine to move on. Victory! Time to get paid! Take too many risky moves. I'm the best. I just don't have the skill to back it up. You know, it's normally how I'd play. Does it hurt? Guess who I am. It's hard to fight. So the bard journeyed into yeah, we the We just got the chapter mountains, five and we just did chapter nine. Him among the craggy peaks. Oh, it's time to wait game thing for sure. It's bloody cold enough here without you making it worse. This must be the entrance to those tombs that dear deceased Bove mentioned. Hmm. Talk about a chilly reception. We won't be getting through there anytime soon. It's a frozen waterfall. Welcome to me humble camp, good sir. Could I interest you in a sword? This particular sword was once used by the great hero Peridor to... Stop, stop, hold on. You don't appear to be freezing your ass off in this cold. What's your secret? Ah, you are an observant man, I see. This brew allows me and me arse to ignore the effects of any cold. Well, as long as we're on the subject of your arse... Let's talk about how I'll kick it up and down that mountain if you don't give me a chug of that! You may try, and may very well succeed. But I'd hate to see the last of this precious brew spill upon the very earth which will entomb your frozen ass for eternity! I see you're a man who thinks ahead. Now, if you'd like to keep yours, hand it over! No need to expend your energy, my rude rogue. But you will need to expend some silver for this warming brew. Ah, magical and tasty. Aye, and let us not forget, potentially deadly. That may be something you'll want to put on a warning label. I be gar, and you've fallen right into me trap. Now let's discuss the true price of that brew. 
Oh, oh, the old fake peddler trick. My mother always warned me to be careful who I drink with. Or is it whom? Now that you've drunk from me jug, ye under geish, unless this curse is broken, ye will remain a prisoner of this mountain wasteland for eternity. As long as my arse is warm. In the mountains lies the sword Cascare, a sword fated to be me dome. You will fetch me this sword, and only then will this curse be lifted to set you free. In layman's terms, give it to me, or die in this mountain. For once, to everyone's amazement and approval, the bard was speechless. On your knees. Did you blame? Mm. They're just chewing these wolves up. <laughs> Too easy. Same trout has been fighting since the beginning. And their stats aren't any higher, so we probably handle it. With the sword. Did you blink? Stay down. <laughs> Too easy. Does it hurt? You're a dog after me own heart.
on your knees. Stay down! <laughs> Too easy. What have we got here? A chest in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Obviously a trap. You know, I'm not going to be lured in by such an obvious ploy. Ah, what the hell. That's what I always say. E. Too easy. Damn, I fall for that every time. I knew it was a trap. So you're the one giving us such trouble. To tell you the truth, I am a bit surprised. I expected you to be more formidable. That makes two of us. Nobody asked you. Since I control your fate, I don't think I really need to be asked. Don't you agree? No, I was talking to... Never mind. If you're speaking to your maker, you might want to mention you'll be seeing him very soon. Farewell. So they can't hear the uh, narrator. Weird. The mercenary, typical of his sort, crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. As I recall, we kind of sit here and shoot mermen. Easy. Stay down. Hey,
Hmm. Guess they didn't finish on summoning her. Fine, we'll just do it when she dies. I'm sure this would be somewhat challenging if I wasn't above level. Because the same person wouldn't have done chapter 9. Quite yet. Does it hurt? Come to me. No need to raise your voice. Be right there. Charge! I don't know why I didn't get a dog sooner. Dog? Thank you, dog.
Too easy. Does it hurt? Oh, that's right. You don't have a, a kill competition in a little bit. So it's kind of good that I got those extra levels. Remembering the curse of the trow, the bard strode forward to draw the sword from its icy abode. Behold the fabled sword Kazgare freed from centuries of imprisonment in the ice by the hand of our brave hero. Ah, my favorite part of our tale. Ah! The bard awoke in a strange, darkened room, not realizing where he was or how he got there. If only I had a piece of silver for every time that happened. Oh my goodness, can it be? Do I hear my rescuer? Hello? Can you hear me? Remember the uh, oh, Kirk Wall said he had a brother there. in the mountains? I feared I was going mad. I've been exploring this tomb for weeks, and everything was peaceful until a few days ago when these undead Draugr started rising up. I got caught in a cave-in as I was trying to get out of this bloody place. Can you get me out of here? I've no way to knock down a wall of ice, but let me take a look round, see if I can find anything that might help to free you. Don't go away. Thank you, stranger. I don't have much, but if you can get me out, I'll have a reward for you. Not sure what to do to take care of that. It doesn't have a square, so it's not the exit. Oh, well, I think that we are going to save and quit here at the two hour mark I'll see y'all in the next episode maybe I'll figure out how to break down that wall